You know, I just feel so over it sometimes. I just feel over everything in this world. Sometimes I just feel meaningless. Like I don't matter to anyone. Or anything. Sometimes I just feel like how can someone love somebody like me? You are meaningless and you are worthless. I don't even know why you waste your time contemplating whether or not you matter when clearly you don't. If I were you, I would go somewhere and get rid of myself. Well, I feel like I could just be going ahead of myself right now. Because if I truly believe that God will take care of me, I believe that he will take care of me even in this storm. Maybe this is all just a test to see if I really have faith in him. Why would God even waste his time with someone like you? Someone who is pathetic. You are nobody. I can't believe you can even call yourself someone. Just look at yourself. Nobody knows your name. Nobody knows who you are. Why don't you just give up? Well, that's the thing. I don't know what God has in store for me. I know right now I'm going through a lot of adversity. I know I'm going through a lot of problems in my head right now. But one thing is for sure, all this is not without reason. I've learned something. That at the end of the day, God has given me life for a reason. God has made me push through and given me strength for a purpose. And it's not to just give up. Can you honestly call yourself a Christian if you keep denying the truth? Look at all the people who have left you. Look at the people who turned their backs on you. Look at the people who put you down and rejected you. Do you think they did all of this without a reason? Maybe God is showing you what you mean to him. Maybe he's showing you that you are a disappointment. Think about it. Do you honestly think that you deserve his love? You don't. So you know what? You're not going to receive it. So you might as well get rid of yourself and just give it up. Well, that's where you're wrong. It says in Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 9, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by work so that no one can boast. If there's one thing I know, it's that God has never given up on us. He sent his only begotten son here to sacrifice for all of our sins. To pay the debt that we cannot pay for ourselves. And that's nothing but love. So if he's willing to do that for all of us, then that means he is not giving up on me either. Ah, man, that was a crazy dream. I really do hope that one of these days I can resist the desires of my flesh with ease so I can remain obedient to God. Maybe going on a walk will clear my head. Hey sir, why are you out so late? Well, I was just taking a late night walk. What about you? Well, nothing much. Just bathing under the moon. I was planning on shuffling some tarot cards around. Tarot cards? Yeah, tarot cards. They give you insight on the past, present, and the future. Well, I don't think I want any part of that. Well, any uncertainties that you're feeling inside, these tarot cards can actually help you. It can help you with guidance. Or any inner problems that you're going through, it can help solve them. So if you want to actually solve your problems, why not just give it a try? The only one I rely on for inner guidance is God. I don't rely on anything else outside of that. How do you know this meaning between me and you wasn't arranged by God himself? Tarot cards can help you with inner wisdom and guidance, and that can give you the answer to whatever problems that you're going through right now. And wouldn't you want that? It says in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 through 12, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft or cast spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Because of these same detestable practices, the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. So that alone tells me that this is wrong. Fine, do what you want. I was just trying to help you. David, why are you over here so late? I just needed someone to talk to. May I come in? Sure. So, what's been going on? Nothing much. i just been thinking. What have you been thinking about? Have you ever thought about how it would be if you never existed? Well, if I'm being honest, I have. I have thought that before. I thought if I wasn't around, maybe things would be more peaceful. That's just kind of where my mind is right now. I 
just feel like a disappointment, a failure. I feel so lost. I feel like as long as I live, I'll just be a burden on the lives of those around me. And sometimes I just wonder why I keep going. Because sometimes I can't even see the end goal. David, I want to say this. I understand where you're coming from 100%. And you have every right to feel the way that you do. I felt that exact same way before. My family misunderstood me. My friends turned their backs on me. I've had people talk down to me and talk bad about me. And you know what? I totally get it. Sometimes with a lot of that going on, it's hard to stay strong. But it all comes down to who are we here to please? Are we here to please them? Or are we here to please God? People in this world will always let you down. And some don't even really try to. Like, you can give somebody everything. I mean, you could try to be the best husband, the best brother, the best son, the best anything you can be and somebody could spit right in your face and not appreciate one bit of it. It's kind of how the world did Jesus and he still sacrificed for all of our sins. That's the kind of love we need to represent. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a time where you can't always look after your family. There's going to be a time where somebody you love can be in that same position you're in right now, feeling sad, alone, miserable, and like nobody loves them. And there's going to be a time where not even you can help them. And there's only one thing that can, and that's God. So I recommend anytime you feel like you're miserable or like no one loves you, Pray. Pray for yourself and pray for your family and pray for anyone you love that they don't feel that way and that you're free from these negative emotions and thoughts. Well, Rita, I really appreciate that because you know sometimes it's hard to be this vulnerable with someone. And you know, at this time being, it's just. A complicated time for me and I really open up so I really appreciate you being here to speak to me and understand and show me some love because I really needed that it's really no problem as a matter of fact will you like to pray with me yeah I'll pray with you our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen.